That drum comes straight off. Good job. Nice. Show us your prize. Let's see what's in there. Whoa. Oh. Okay, not the prize we were looking for, but there it is. I'm not clean and proper. Welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and we're back today with me and Ashlyn. There she is. We got us a extra guest star today. You've seen her in some of the past videos before. We're gonna be working on Bee's Carmen gear, which is right here behind us. We're tearing up the rear brakes on there. We're gonna be installing some rear discs and uh, showing the conversion process and how it's done. Uh, with that said, is there anything else you'd like to include today? Don't eat yellow snow. It doesn't snow here. <laughs> so don't drink the yellow water. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Linky, likey, comment, subscribe. Check out DuckShit.net for all the so different social media links. And we'll be back right after the intro. Fantastic. Ta -da! I can see that worked because the compressor just happened to blow a seal on it while we got started. <laughs> oh, wrong seal. Yeah, wrong kind of seal. Or, or, or. Here we go. Come here. Maybe Come and see here. Yeah. A little more. Aka -daka -daka. There we go. <laughs> here, I got a present for you. All right, show us your prize. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> All right. Now, noticing there is no cotter pin on here. So, for some reason, it's missing previous owner stuff. I've never had these drums off of there. That wasn't me. That's just the way it came. That's yeah. one of those things we're observing right now. Otherwise, ordinarily, you'd pull that off. Next, close. You got a gear in your hand there, lefty hand. That's got to go on. Right. So, take two of them luggies. Oh, nice. Wind them back in there. And you can use the impact actually, just uh, just get them started. You don't have to go nuts on them. <laughs> just get them in there so they just start to snug up and then stop. Snug up on them nuts. Snugglies on my nugglies. Oh, maybe you shouldn't be a rapper. No. Oh. I already had a rapper name though. And what was that? Bust a Nut. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you forgot. I did. The white rapper known as Bust a Nut. Maybe I should be Bust a Duck. Ooh. You like that? Oh, bust Boomer, watch out. Uh oh, I'm a duck buster. <laughs> we need a call. Duck busters. Duck busters. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Probably the 11. Hey, yep. you're right. Yep. Almost like they're your tools. Oh. Oh. Nope, wrong one. Yep, I need Smaller. a... Nope, I need a... Well, yeah, that one. That'll work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you know what I meant when I did this, because I didn't know what I meant. <laughs> it's great to see the two of you working together, too, here. Oh, gotta go the other way. This is something I've been looking forward to. Because whenever something happens, yeah. you know, people immediately jump to conclusions, start making up rumors, <laughs> and other nonsense. That's it. <laughs> now, remember I taught you about turning it inwards? You gotta turn that ratchet around the other way. What? The ratchet. Turn the ratchet around. Yep, like that. Turn the ratchet around. Yeah, you're, you're still in the wrong position. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Ratchet has to be turned... All that. Has to be turned around like, like this. Because you're gonna be turning in on itself. So right here, mm -hmm. you can actually kind of like over it now at this point I've got it because you're you do like oh, that. Okay. that stops the whole thing from turning most people think you got to have this on the ground you have to have some kind of a prop on it you got to have the e-brake on or it's got to be in gear or some other nonsense truth is if it's not rotted and stuck if you turn the ratchet around backwards so it turns in on the axle it'll prevent it from spinning and you can pull it right off as I just demonstrated and that one actually came off pretty easy anyway yeah this one may not I've even been have needed getting it. really lucky with these lately on cars Oh, the really front, too, lucky. we didn't even need the torque multiplier. Well, that's because it's a different kind of nut. 
These are the big nuts on the back of the uh, Volkswagen axles. There's, there's two nuts on Volkswagens that are really, really tight. The axle nuts and the gland nut. Not the gland nut. The gland nut. <laughs> I don't want to torque my nuts. That would not As I indicated good. earlier, if you torque one of them, I'll be walking in circles. That drum comes straight off. Good job. Mm -hmm. Show us your prize. Let's see what's in there. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Not the prize we were looking for, but there it is. That's the drum. How, how's the condition of it? What's it look like on the inside? Not too bad. I wouldn't be looking at it. It's full yeah. of asbestos and stuff. No, oh, and it's all over your pants. Oh, well. <laughs> the worst thing I've had on my pants. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I'm going to clip the brake line first. Oh, yeah. That's probably a good idea. There should be two brake lines. There's yep. the actual cable for the e-brake, and then there's the brake line for the hydraulics. And in our case, we just replaced this with all brand new, so we just cut and get out of there. It's we got a little oil pan down below to catch any drippings in case anything does come out of it. The lines seem pretty dry. The front's barely dripped at all. I'm here. I'm here. There we go. Uh, Alright, now let's figure out. That's definitely too small. So that's an 11. It's 11 and might oh, be I a, need a 13. Might be 13. Nope, that is a 13. Once in a while I see a 12 like or a 14 in there. I don't know what nope, the Volkswagen no accurate one. size is, unfortunately. I have not found any documentation that indicates what size it's supposed to be. Down below in the comments, you guys, you That's tell us what size that you found on yours. And mine have always been 12s, 13s, or 14s. And I think That's even one time I found two. 15s. That was on, Actually, on um, you're right. it is my Porsche. 14, which is weird. <laughs> That's a 14, huh? Yeah. Okay. Was the other side 13? The other side was an 11, I thought. No, it's not 11. No, it wasn't 13. Definitely wasn't 11. Okay. Okay, don't forget Lefty Lucy there. You could probably even use the uh, the, the uh, impactor if you want. Yeah. It'd be faster. It'd make more noise. You can ugga dugga dugga and not have to break your knuckles on anything. Nope, oh, that's oh, why right. I wanted you yeah, to do it. Do that. <laughs> okay. that was why I wanted to look for the adapter in there. Okay. And yes, I know you guys were using the wrong sockets the because these are not the black sockets. But in this case, uh, we're going to use these because these things are not that like tight. And on. I do not expect these sockets to explode on these little tiny bolts that you see on here. Because these things are just not torqued down that tightly. I'm not torqued down that tightly either. Neither am I. Loose cannon. What the f Pull the trigger while you're pushing it on, gently. Well, I can't even get the... Yeah. yeah push the trigger a little bit while you're Hold putting on. it on. That'll help it. Sometimes it'll just turn it and it'll just snap okay. right in. Was that a tighten or a loosen? Loosen it. I think you're turning it the wrong way. You're going to... Which, uh, push this all the way in. It looked like it wasn't in all the way. It is on It is now. Okay. You're good. Okay. It's just... Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, yeah, that did loosen uh, it. Did you get it? You got it. Yeah, all right. It, it, it didn't look right for some reason to yeah, me. Yeah, it didn't. Look it through the camera screen, too. Oh, oh no. Don't lose your washers or your bolts. No. Anybody who's watching. Don't do I guess that. you can move the oil pan, too. It don't need to be there. True. Nothing's dripping. <laughs> I'm amazed how much air this thing has left in it. Yeah, everything came apart pretty easy. We didn't have to. Uh, we didn't have to run it too hard. That's what she said. Now that entire plate should come. There it is. Boop. Good, good, good. Bye. Okay. This I need. You didn't show us your prize. What you got there? You got an entire. Turn it around so we can see the other side. There it is. A whole brake mechanism. Which actually the parts in it look pretty damn good. I'm not going to expect that that. Uh, Cylinder, wheel cylinder is actually going to be in any good shape at all. They it looks pretty of, nasty. Yeah, they get pretty nasty, and they, they, I don't like them anyway. <laughs> it's pretty corroded. But we'll, yeah, we'll get rid of that. No reason to keep it around. Mm -hmm. There's your bearing cover. We're going to wipe the grease out of there with the rag you got. Oh. Just clean it up as best you can. I need a rag. Okay. You don't okay. have it with you? Nope. Uh oh, she lost the rag. Uh oh, Ashlyn's on the rag. There it is. <laughs> this one's a, got a little bit of corrosion on it, but it's not bad. The seal looks good. Or, or. Or, or. Now, remember the uh, age old question of why the walrus went to the Tupperware party? To blow a seal? <laughs> uh, I thought it was to look for a tight seal, but. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I don't to know. Blow a seal. Okay. Uh, I don't think anybody really wants to blow a seal, unless perhaps you were a walrus. But 
All right, you got that little, I guess it's a bushing. We don't need to talk about my bushing. Cover. Yep, your bushings. Look, it's been a while. It's been a pandemic. It's been a rough pandemic. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> I see the boom over here too. Hey, do boom. I'm gonna clean off that. See you, boomer. Next to the Carmen Gia wheel. Let me clean your shaft. All right. Yep. You wiped off your shaft real nice. I did. I'm really Nothing good at like that. having a good clean shaft. Yep. All right. Okay. And what happens next? Grease it. And for those who didn't know, yes, we already rehearsed it on the other side. There's uh, sometimes a paper seal goes on the back side of these. Uh, we have issues with fitting them. Hmm. So what I like to do is I like to just grease it up. And what happens when you grease this area, it'll, it'll turn into like a paraffin wax after some time and it stops the uh, water and stuff from getting in. But in addition to that, we'll put another seal on the front side of the uh, caliper mount mounting bracket, which is going on next, okay. which is this guy right here. And uh, goes that way. Make sure like that, that's it. Then we have some paper seal. Mm -hmm. Okay, these little paper seals here, you notice it's got five holes on it. Well, actually, technically it's six, the big one, of course. The little holes for a weep hole. This typically goes on the bottom. This is an IRS suspension, therefore, it, it actually doesn't use the weep hole, but just to observe it properly, it still goes down. So we'll slip that right on in there. Damn. You could even uh, use some grease to glue it to the, the thing. Yep. Just get it close enough, and then uh, the bearing cover will press it into place. Yep. Yeah. Grab your bearing cover down below here and knock this thing out. Come back to that in a minute. Nope, that goes last. That one, also we have to observe, observe it. There's two scallops that are cut out in the sides of it. You can see them down below here. These always face down. The um, swing axle ones, actually we have a weep hole on the bottom. That's what that hole in that seal was for. And what the reason for that was, is to let out the transmission fluid in the event it starts leaking so it doesn't bind up, well not bind up, but gum up your brakes. Once you get one of the bolts started in there, that will not want to wiggle loose on you too much anymore. Yeah, that was my issue on the other side, was yeah. getting it lined up just right. That's usually the issue. <laughs> You're doing well. This is happening, it's happening quick. That's it. There. So Quickie? One in. Yep. She's a two minutes or less kind of girl. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. It does it not. It doesn't? No. It does not. It's drawing a box around your face again. It's because your camera just This looks. camera just <laughs> likes your face. I don't know what it is. It draws a box around it every time. Yeah. It doesn't do that to me. It doesn't do it to me either. Only no. on you. Oh, I never just, mind. You both got boxes now. Oh, I was going to say, I got a face for radio. You both got boxes. <laughs> I mean, yes. You're not worthy of the box. Oh, man, I can only get some box. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> we just pretend they're worthy oh. of the box. Oh, I pretend every morning. That you have a box? No, <laughs> well, then I'm borrowing one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now these have a torque spec, correct? They do have a torque spec. They are tor torqued down to 25 foot panels. And that's the torquey wrench down there. Mm -hmm. I know it's such a 30 right now. Ooh, it's nice and greasy too. Hey. Hey. It's greasy. Oh, it's, this is the one that I needed. So we'll okay. turn this down to. What am I doing? Oh, I'm reading Newton meters. We're not using Newton meters, we're using footy pounds. Footy pounds. Footy pounds. Okay, you're dialed in at 25. Perfect. And those are the ones I want to do diagonally. Uh, yes, crisscross. Yep. Crisscross Criss pattern. Crisscross applesauce. I'm just using this to get it down. Get down, baby. Get down. She can get down with the get down all the way down. Okay. Come <laughs> What's going on over there? Nothing. There's some kind of little boogie going on. Nothing. That's how you make a tissue dance. Some kind of tube steak boogie or something. You put a little boogie in it. Pat. Huh? You like that? <laughs> That's it. This is something you guys, you want to make sure you get them nice and tight. This will stop your brakes from working properly if they're not tight. 
because the entire caliber bracket will come loose. And I experienced that problem once before. Even though I torqued them down properly, one of Ruby's came loose, and I heard knocking every time I would step on the brakes because the entire caliper bracket would slam into position. Over time, it probably would have wallowed out the holes and caused me some severe problems, but uh, I resolved it in time. I actually torqued them down to 30 foot-pounds because they kept coming loose at 25. I don't know what the problem was with that, but anyway. Yes, it's going to go in there. You want to throw some grease on it first. On the inside? Yeah. Yeah, actually get even in the, in the, in the hole in there where it's going to slide into. Mm -hmm. Get in there with a little bit of grease. I think we forgot that on the other side, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we'll hit it again. <laughs> no big deal. It. Does it go in this way? Uh, a little thing? more grease in there. Don't be afraid in of the here? grease in yeah, Don't be shy on the grease in that. Mm. Yeah, nice lube, up, lube up lube up that hole. Never be afraid of extra You can even wad it up on the shaft and then just slide the thing in. It'll push the grease in the hole. Yummy. That's it. Wad it up on that yeah, shaft? Yeah, just wad it up and then just slide the thing right in. With the little bevel end in or out? Bevel goes in. Okay. Good call on that. I'm glad you asked that because I haven't been saying that in any of my videos ever. See? Goes right on in there. Yes, it does. That's it. Lube up that shaft. Oh my. Oh my. The only one that does that better is me. Yeah. I mean, it's your equipment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. You know what's next? Um, this. The this, correct. That. That is the disc. Disc. The disc goes on there next. That's it. Okay. She's on. And then... Caliper. Yes. Not yet, though. No. Oh, All we I have noticed. to do... Oh, that's right. The nut okay. and the pin. Well, I also noticed that... For some reason, we don't have any washers on here that came off, but we're going to add one because we have them in the kit. So, we also need a spacer. Spacer. It's one spacer, which actually technically is a thick washer. There's the washer. And then, nut it. You've got to nut it. And this one has to get torqued too. Yep, don't be afraid of greasing up the nut either when you put them on there. Grease up your nut. Just good for like it because someday you'll take it back apart. Someday you'll have to take it back apart. Oh, and uh, no. if it's not greased, then it's much harder. Did you notice it came apart pretty easy this time? It did. Yeah. Some people like to impact these things on. A big no-no because you don't know what spec you're talking to. So do not ever do that. Don't do that. Unless, of course, you're just looking to snug it, at which point you're coming back with the torque tool. This one I usually dial it in to 30 because the torque multiplier will multiply that to just over 250 foot pounds. It's 250 is where you want to be. Uh, don't put those in that way. You're backwards. Oh, Turn it over. You. Yeah. I noticed something looked a little weird. That's what it was. It's just my face. Oh no. Oh no. Now those were going to Loctite them in, but guess who forgot the Loctite? Yeah, I lost it somewhere in the garage we'll again. Find we'll find it. Yeah, we will find it, but we'll handle that at a later date because lug nuts aren't necessarily what brakes are about. So. <laughs> I did have to use Loctite on my bike. Did you? Well, when I had the boo boo, um, took it to local repair. <laughs> when you drop, finish it. your story. And uh, they didn't screw the um, brake on the bike, and so I lost a nut and a bolt. If you eat pussy like that, I don't. That's why you're single. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm married as of yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mom, pa. Long story, you guys. We'll explain that one later. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, put Loctite on the um, brake pedal on the bike and why not? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the airplane. <laughs> fuck ass shit. Oh, sorry. What kind of ass? Just don't worry about it. I'll oh. tell you when you're older. Bleepity bleep. I have to grow up first. Uh, Man, she won't tell me anything. <laughs> the whole thing up. is coming out with it. Why? Just keep tightening it. Just keep tightening it. It'll go on. They're brand new, so they're they're. Chinese chrome plated and they probably plated the damn threads too. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. There's just a little bit of chrome in there. Just a little bit. That's it. You're gonna polish the chrome. Huh. Yep. 
All right. Oh, this is the one that doesn't quite. Okay. This torque multiplier tool, I absolutely adore this thing. If you don't own one and you own a Volkswagen, get one. Mm -hmm. You just get one. Get two if you have to. Because sometimes I find myself needing a second one when I have somebody here working with me. There'll be links down below in the video description where to get one of these. They're not too awfully expensive, but you just, you have to have one. If you don't have one, you're doing it the wrong way. What's going on down here? Wait. Yes, that one. Did you lose your 11? Nope. We just found another. Uh oh. The donk a donk. The donk a donk. Now remember, turn it in on itself. First, we have to get the thread started on there. You'll be turning to the right, so. Oh, okay. They'll start. Yes. You got it. Think backwards. Yes, ass backwards. Bass Don't bust your toes with that. In fact, move that grease out of the way, too, because if the tool's falling out, it's going to yeah, get all we'll everywhere. And they're right up to me. Oh. There we go. We get that away. Run away! Run away! What is the weirdest bird? Uh, it's yeah, a it's blue. Boomer. It's a blue jay. They can mimic hawks. That's what sounds they can, like. Yeah, they can. It sounds like a red tailed hawk. It's a blue jay. Do we get red tailed hawks? No. no. Yes, we do. You do, don't you? Absolutely, we do. I, I see them on the that. interstate typically, never so much around town. But uh, here I see the chicken hawks. Skeeter got dive bombed by them uh, three times oh, in two days once. And the second time, actually, she was covered in blood because I smacked the hawk off of her because they had her. And it uh, turned out the blood was mine and not hers, but I was frantic trying to find the wound. <laughs> <laughs> she just more and more blood was appearing on her. The poor girl. You got it. You're turning it on itself. Good. Now, as it starts to get tighter, you'll have to turn more in on itself. So less up and more, more towards your other hand. Whoop! Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 Not quite. Uh oh. We saw some bald, bald eagles on the interstate last week, too. Yeah, somebody else said they saw bald eagles out in the Milton area. Yeah, it was around Crestview, so it might have even been the same ones, but uh, we saw one dead in the road, too. That was down the other way. That's right. That was for Inauguration Day. Even the eagles would kill themselves. <laughs> A little wonky there. Yeah, right. so it stays Going on. Going for the teamwork. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to try it one more time. Just a little bit. Up a little bit. It's not staying in place. Not the most orthodox way to do it, you guys, but uh, it seems to be working for them. You did have a click. Well, maybe it's because you had your hand in the wrong spot. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. There, there it was. Is. That's good. All right. Now let's look at that hole. It's going to be in there someplace. Look for the hole. Keep turning it until you see a hole. Right there. You see it? Is it lined up? Uh, no, it's just ever so slightly off kilter. Does that mean you can turn a little tighter and get it, or you have to go like way tighter to see it? It's right there. Okay. Yep, you got to go a little bit tighter. Okay. Because you never want to loosen these. You always want to tighten them until the hole lines up. Okay. That's the actual prescription from Volkswagen to uh, service manual itself. <laughs> you think that's enough? I don't know. Let's have a look. Mm, no, it needs a little more. A little more? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There it is. Yay! And again, the hole is right there in the nut. And you want to make sure that lines up because you got a cotter pin that goes in there. That's it. You're going to minorly abuse a tool, use a uh, ratchet handle, and just gently tap them right in there. No, not that one. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's a precision tool. You don't beat that one up. There you go. And it needs to come over just a tad bit more. A little tighter? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit more. You got it then. You got it under control. Yeah. 
She bumped the camera. She bumped the camera. She bumped the camera. I'll bump your ass. Please. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hashtag butt, butt stuff. Oh, <laughs> Minorly abusing tool. I love it. Not minor abuse. Minor. Oh, yeah, yeah. The alternative definition. It's coming. Is this? Yep. It's getting there. It's close. Don't, don't bend it. <laughs> See? It's coming through. It's just oh, being good. a turd. Good. Okay. Yeah. That, uh... You want to give it a whirl? Get you a proper hammer. Let me get you some. Or use a bigger ratchet handle, actually. If it doesn't work right when you're using it, you need you need a, a bigger hammer. Just use a bigger ratchet handle. Oh no, that bent it a little bit. Oh, I hate when it happens. It's going. It's just slow. It happens. Oh, oh, no, yeah, let's let's. You wanna? Can you help me? You jump uh, yeah, in I'm help. gonna help you. Just turn it around. And look at the other side. How's it look? It did come through. Okay. It is. Did it's it a, twist in there? Is it's a tiny seen? bit crooked. I'm gonna see what we got there. I bent it when I was wailing okay, on it. Okay, I'm not trying to look at the side. You just turned away from me. There you go. Get back up. Okay. All right. I'm gonna look at this a little more closely and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay. What actually happened down here with that cotter pin is it started to pivot and twist itself up inside. I hadn't seen that happen before, but it actually just jammed. It's weird. Once I had it just untwisted a pair of pliers, I just whapped it once or twice and it went right through. Weird. But anyway, um, you know, split it open like a Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah, one goes forward and one goes backwards. That's it, one goes forward and back and it's relative to the car. The wheels happen. spin forwards and backwards. So we can push one that way and one this way. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Because my hands are greasy and this keeps slipping. Ew. Her hands keep on slipping, slipping, slipping. slipping. Into the Well, that's copyrighted. We can't do that one. You gotta Into come up with parody words. <laughs> this is not fun. My hands are slippery. <laughs> and then that you can just gently. Wrap it where it needs to go. This is a great a job lesson. for someone who has non-greasy hands to help you with. It's on there. I'm yeah. still dirtied. Okay. I'm very soiled. Okay. I can't see you over there. I know, I know. You're out of the frame. <laughs> Doing some nonsense. Show no. me some nonsense. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Remember what's next? Caliper. The caliper goes on. Now, what happens in that caliper before everything else? I gotta open the bolts. That's it. Gotta open up them bolts and drop them pads on into place. Drop it. I now it's probably it. something you might want to take over to the bench. We'll do it over yes. on the workbench. Because I need a the Alright, B's got herself a wrench. And she's got herself caliper. a caliper. It has an R on it. Well, on that caliper, that does indicate that it's the right hand side. This is something we probably should have talked about, but there actually is a polarity to these. One doesn't belong on one side, the other, and difference is where the spring goes. These are on the top. Some of the old ones used to be on the bottom, as I mentioned before, that the brake cables would then run along the bottom of the vehicle and road debris would smash them. This runs it up and over the top of the trailing arm, puts it in a safer spot, and that's just, uh, well, it's better overall. So, this here needs to come apart, and those pads need to go down inside. It's pretty easy to get these things in there. You might want to try doing it flatwards. Be careful you don't bust that guy. Here's, just let you see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. See this here? If you mm -hmm. break off your nipple, Ow. you'll yeah. never be able to bleed. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Nothing turn. worse than bleeding nipples. That sounds like a cannibal corpse song. We are, or a band name. We are bleeding nipples. <laughs> you got it open. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Bust it. Bust it. Oh, that's copyrighted too. I think. <laughs> Ooh, 
drop them pads on into places what you've done and you mm -hmm. observe the springs to make sure they didn't fall into the little canyon at the bottom there. Yeah, this can be a little tricky. Yeah. They work good. Overall, it's not too hard once you got it in there and you know how. Yeah, stay in there. And then you boop, but you gotta boop them. Yep, yep. Like that, and then that's gotta go there, and yep. then this comes, oh, stop that. You piece of banana. Now this is something that you don't want to hammer on for those of you watching. Don't beat on it, don't hammer on it. Everything will go together with just your hands. Unless you have stupid tiny little girl hands like me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can't all have spider hands like Glenn. Mm -hmm. Banana hands? Monkey hands. Monkey hands? That's feet. <laughs> I saw somebody once that had hands for feet. That kid was born with a lot of other problems too, but he had monkey feet, which was really weird. I terrified him too. He screamed and cried a lot when he saw me. You're such a bully. I wasn't bullying. He just looked at me and cried. <laughs> I mean, I probably would too. You do often. Yeah. Very often. You look right at me, you just scream. This one does too. Screaming all the time. You got a screamer? Well, it screams. Let's walk right past your screams. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's doing the same bendy thing. Bendy thing? Yeah, There's nothing the other bending. One. What happens is the pads just aren't settling. Once you uh, slide the disc in there, it's actually going to cause that other pad to move where it needs mm -hmm. to go. So that's not going to really be a problem. It's doing the wonky thing. If you have a problem there and you're worried about it, you can take a screwdriver, even this ratchet handle, and you can slot it right in here and just knock the pads into place where they're supposed to go. See? Right where they need to be. Just like that. See that? Yep. Right where it needs to be. The two of them over there are docking. If you don't know what docking is, uh, check it out up on uh, Urban Dictionary. UrbanDictionary.com. <laughs> it's like it. a Chinese finger trap. That's exactly yeah. what it is. But it's a ratchet trap. Uh, rat shit trap. Rat sh Rat sh Dirty old 69 uh, I don't know not. Hooray, lizard shit. George Carlin? I no? know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. It's George Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> probably also copyrighted and I apologize but it's gonna have to be heavily bleeped it'll so. be blipped yeah, yeah. <laughs> which makes it even more funny <laughs> Don't know what's attacking is that like the words you can't say on TV no no that was something different was something yeah else, yeah an ass butt they did the thing the thing what thing ah! what happened did a spring fall oh you hit it with your finger yeah. push it in just push it down okay. squeeze it squeeze it right down where it needs to go and just press it right in place there you go. See? <laughs> no, now the other side. <laughs> you doinked it. Let me see it. I can't see it. We got. Oh, that's not a big deal. Just press them right in. I doinked it. Right. Push it right on in there. It's not like a like a ass butt. Ass butt. It's not like ass a front butt, butt either. See? Front butt. Oh, and she was all worried because she knocked that out. But okay. this just goes right back. This into is why I need like the spacer. So. No, I didn't need a spacer. You still may not need one, or you might need one. I don't know. We'll Sometimes find out. these calipers need to be spaced over the disc because forward to back motion sometimes will cause a problem and in the event that that does happen uh, we need to simply put a washer between the caliper and the bracket and space it out accordingly. The uh, fastback Ruby needed spacers only on one side. The other side was perfect as was. The other one, what's funny is it took a few months for it to happen but the disc just would start rubbing on the inside of the caliper and I was barely touching it but it just sounded like crushing of rocks when I would step on the brakes. It was the most horrible sound ever. Come on. Mm. Get the caliper on there. Mm. Eine kleine Heine mm. It's not going. Why not? I don't know. It's a good question. It's being a... It's just being a butt. You knocked the pad out again? No. You're pushing it where you're not supposed to be pushing it. So I think you knocked the pad out. Well, help me then, please. <laughs> yeah, you got the pad knocked out. Once again, you guys, that pad needs to be in place like yeah. that. Oh, I popped a button. That's okay. Uh -oh. it needs to be open like that. There it is. I see what you did. Much better.
what happened is you squeeze this and the whole yeah. the whole uh the whole mechanism closed itself up so you couldn't uh, get the disc in there okay yeah that's what it was shit up. it should slide over it's gonna take a little effort because that one pad likes to skeech out of there skeeching skeech 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 a rama uh, I think I did it again. What am I doing wrong? Oh wait, one side went. Hi, Boomer. Boom, boom. Fuck. No! <laughs> Hi, Boomer. No! <laughs> you want any help? With what? It did... Knock that out of there again. Yeah. Oh. You actually oh, could handle it. You just got to get in there and squeeze it, and they go right back into oh, place. Oh, okay. You can hand it to you backwards. Yeah, you did. You still got the boom. I do. Look at him hanging here. It just looks like he's like, <laughs> my life. Unhappy. <laughs> there we go. He was a my life. Shoes earlier. You got it. Fantastic. Yeah. It helped that I could see that time. Poor boomer. Am I abusing Poor him? Boomer. Mm. Poor Boomer. Poor this Boomer. Poor Boomer, my ass. You try to bite people. Poor your ass. Why can't you be sweet? Mm. I know. Because he's a boy. Mm. And he's okay. stupid. Mm. Big stupid ducky boy. Mm. We still love you, Boomer. You know you suck. <laughs> he's all wet and greasy. <laughs> Just like you. Same. Mm. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> that makes three of you. Hi, Boomer. <laughs> Those look so good on there. Thanks. Oh, and and it's remarkable how up underneath this car, okay. there's no rust. All the suspension components, they all have undercoating and paint on them, and the undercoating is kind of peeling off, which is kind of a blessing because it's messy. So you can easily just chip it off or hit it with a wire brush. It's actually breaking off just by hand. And all the paint underneath is still still clean and pristine. So whoever restored this car before actually did a lot of things right. Danke. Danke, Scheiße. Thank you, shit. Yeah. Why? Nine. Nine. Oh. Nine, Scheiße. I, I'd Scheiße it already today. Yeah. That's an adaptive. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Tummy relief. Tell you who? Tummy relief. Tummy relief. Tummy swords? Tummy relief. Tummy swords. Girls, girls don't play sword. that. We need extra equipment to do that. Yeah, we need Yeah, those. swords. <laughs> I, I do have one at home. Oh my. Yeah. Color. Well, the, the harness is black, but you could put... The sword is interchangeable. Is it like a screw-on attachment? Uh, no, it's like a... There's a have like a... Like a, you know, a square drive, like a half-inch ratchet. No. It doesn't just click in there. It's just That's kind of... No, it doesn't work like that? No. I'm just checking. Are they threaded? Just kind of screw it on? Yeah, I just gotta, okay, that's Just have a quick small. release, like a compressor hose. Yeah, you kind of, mm. kind of just detach it right from you, <laughs> like that. I'm very interested as to why you are so fascinated with the, like, the setup of my strap-on. Well, it's, it's a fastener. And I'm curious, which technology do they adopted for said fastener? There's just a ring and it goes in the back and the thing down. A ring. Yeah, it's just like a ring, and then you stick the d through it, and it's got balls to hold it in place, so you can change them out. <laughs> Have you never seen a strap on before? Stay right there. This is a great thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess I haven't. <laughs> I mean, you can get. I mean, I've never taken one apart either. So. You can get a couple of different ones. You can get like the vacuum seal ones. Why don't you, you get in there too? You can get like um. The ones that don't need a harness where they go inside of you okay. the other end is for it. No, I mean like get down with the get down. Get down in here. We can yeah, smile you don't have to like get in the dirt like, or anything. Like we're we're just like get like way in the shot. Oh, you're not happy with me? Yeah, that's a good one actually. There you go. I'm going to have to Photoshop myself into that somewhere. Yeah, you can put you your face You two are having right too much fun. <laughs> 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 oh, you're good. You don't have to climb around the dirt anymore. Unless you want to. I, I didn't, mean, yeah. I didn't expect you to actually get down in there either like that. Well, that's not It's too dirty. I guess that's more pine needles than anything. But I'm not cleaning proper. You're not cleaning proper? 
Wow. Ow. One of them dirty Iowan gals. Yeah. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something about the girls in the Midwest that gravitate towards me. Well, not out of choice. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I'm the innocent one here. Uh, hardly. I was just sitting around and you both found me. Uh, Who's just swiping on online dating? I don't know. They just found me. And you knew me from a long time ago. So. I've known you from a long time. It's on there. It is? Yeah. How's that uh, disc align inside that caliper? Remember, because the disc sits in the caliper like so, and there needs to be a gap top and bottom. There's a gap. It should be about even on both sides of the disc. And you're looking not so much between the pads, but between the metal part of the gold bracket there. Does it look pretty even on both here. sides? Uh, you should probably look, because I have a hard time telling. Oh. Okay. I'll stick my head down in here, but again, this is a caliper and this is a disc coming up through it. And it needs to be a little bit of this, and it needs to be somewhat even. It's okay if it's a little bit to one side versus the other because the caliper will sort itself out. It looks pretty even. But uh, it needs to not be touching on one side or being too close because the caliper will have some degree of flex to it when it does activate, and it will, in time, if it's too close, rub on that disc from its motion. So anyway, I'm going to stick my head under there and see what we got. Okay. So this is your first time doing rear brakes on a car McGee, is that correct? Yes. Or any Volkswagen for that matter. Yeah, actually. Uh, how much work was it on this compared Not to the front? Easy compared to the front. Yeah, it's pretty easy, isn't it? It's I mean, the front lot. was pretty easy too, but... I mean, use, being that we used the um, the camera and we did a little stop and go and we joked a lot about this and everything, I mean, it probably took, what, less than half the time, I would think, for both sides. Oh, yeah. You didn't have to take apart any spindles or any ball joints or any of that nonsense. It's just uh, a matter of loosening... How many bolts was it? Five bolts in its part? I think that's right. Four, five. four nuts, uh, four bolts on the inside, one nut on the outside, and the whole thing comes apart. You cut the two hoses off, of course, make it easy. Mm -hmm. And then when you put it back together, it's six bolts because there's two on the caliper, and then, uh, well, seven actually because there's the big nut on the outside. So that's all there was to it. We will, in the future, install the brake line to get it bled. We got stainless steel for everything, including the hard lines. And I manufacture my own hard lines here using my own tools, rather than buying the kits ones. That way you can form them to any shape that you want, any length that you want, any configuration that you want. You're not limited to it. So we've got that taken care of here. Ashlyn, what'd you think of this project? It was interesting. It's also learned. your first time doing this, huh? Yeah. Yeah? You never worked on any of this stuff with John before? No? He'd kick you out of the room? You're not allowed? I wouldn't say that, no. <laughs> Well, okay, stainless steel lines coming up in the future. We'll talk about bleeding the brakes then, all that stuff, including the brake cables, which we did not demonstrate in this video other than showing how they go together. Uh, we will be handling later date because it's not easy to get a camera under there where it needs to go for that stuff. But anything else you two like to add? Things get cold, get small when they're cold. <laughs> Things are still getting small when they're cold. <laughs> Great thing to share. B, any input on that? You never seen that happen before? Not with a strap on. <laughs> I've seen it happen to a horse. Have you ever used a cold strap on? No. So you don't put that in the freezer first the night before or anything like that? No. No? No, I don't think I've ever dated anybody or been with anybody with a temperature fetish, so. That, that, that would be something to do to somebody you're breaking up with, though. Uh, no. Look at Boomer. <laughs> what you doing down there? It's actually being Decent yeah, it's because we let him flap his wings like crazy and he wore himself out. And he's now not he's biting. Tired. No, he's tired now. I'm being a good boy. He's tired. It took all the energy out of him. Let him be his going crazy self. Anyways, as always, licky likey, comment, subscribe, plug that dingle belly. That way you get updates every time we upload new videos. Now check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. You will find Ashlyn's stuff up there soon, and you will find B stuff up there always. So we'll be getting that stuff synced up, get everything up to date, and uh, more to come with that. So keep on watching. More coming gear updates to come. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs>